Christmas vacation has officially started for me. I am so excited. But we all get to some point in the vacation where we're bored. So I decided to do a DIY experiment, and it's called Elephant's Toothpaste. I found it in a science book. It looks really fun, and all you need is simple things. You'll need a plastic bottle to hold all the liquids together, and it is going to be the container that we use to have the reaction. You will also need dish soap. I'm using Dawn. You'll, very important, you'll need active dry yeast. Active dry yeast. You will also need some sort of a beaker. I don't have a beaker, but I just use something that can measure in ounces or milliliters. And because pouring into a bottle with a tiny opening is very small, I'm using a funnel. This thing can go everywhere, so I'm setting down an aluminum disposable tray and some old sheet music because I have a ton of old sheet music. So the second most important thing that you'll need is hydrogen peroxide, and you have to make sure that it is 3 to 6% concentration. If it's higher concentration than that, it won't work during this experiment, so let's get started. So what you'll need is four fluid ounces of the hydrogen peroxide. Remember, three to six percent concentration. And you will just pour that into your little thing. So four ounces or 120 milliliters. So if you don't have a beaker, just use some sort of a measuring cup and stuff like that. I found this thing was really fun to do. I think we did it two times and if I'm ever babysitting I'll probably do it with a little kid or something like that. It's so much fun and it's it's pretty safe. Just be careful with the hydrogen peroxide. So put your funnel on top of the bottle and pour it into the empty clean bottle. It's just an empty seltzer bottle but if it's anything bigger you want to adjust the amount of ingredients that you use. So after I put the hydrogen peroxide into the bottle, I am taking my dish soap and putting in there. Now they didn't have exactly how much dish soap I was supposed to use inside of the bottle while this whole thing was going on, but I just eyeballed it. I saw that people were just, just squirting it in until they felt like taking it off. So that's what I did. And just for an added little bit of fun, you can take some food coloring and put it inside of the bottle so when it erupts, it's the color of the food coloring. So I use blue, but you can use any color. And it, I wish I used some more blue dye because it turned out lighter than I wanted. So after you put all of the ingredients inside the bottle, just shake it around and stir it so that everything combines. I probably should have shaken it up just a little bit more than I did just to mix it better. Oh, I forgot. You'll also need hot water, not boiling water. You'll just need hot water to create a reaction with the yeast before you put it in. So it the experiment requires one a teaspoon of yeast with two tablespoons of hot water. So if I were doing a bigger bottle, let's say your average soda bottle that those large ones that you get at like pizza store places, that would be really cool to do it out of. I would double it so I would do two teaspoons with four tablespoons of hot water and eight fluid ounces of hydrogen peroxide just in case you were doing it in a larger bottle. So when you put your hot water in you're going to need to stir it around until it becomes this almost almost the consistency of eggnog. It looks like really brown eggnog. It's the only thing I can describe it with. I have Christmas on my mind as much as I can. So make sure that as you can see my hand is in the way but you'll see in a little bit when my sister thank you so much for helping me with this experiment is stirring. There's some clumps of the yeast that you just want to get rid of. Kind of like kind of like a cookie dough. You want to get all the clumps away. So just until it is just set. I mean if, if you make bread at home you'll know how to do it. So again I want to thank my little sister for helping me out with this vid. 
She helped me with setting up the camera, holding the bottle, and getting really excited with me when it reacted. Honestly, it was so much fun, guys. I love doing this. I will do it so many times. So here's the moment of truth. Now, depending on how much you use, I've seen the reactions go quickly. So once you pour the yeast into there, move the funnel away. It might react really fast for you guys or really slow like it did for me. But it's so cool once you pour it in and it starts to bubble and move its way to the top. The suspense just builds. It's so much fun to watch. And my favorite is when it just gets to that peak right before it gets out and it starts to go like pretty fast, like right here. I love this. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It was so much fun to watch. And you think it'll feel like silly putty, but it feels like soap foam, like that foam soap that you use. So it's perfectly safe to touch. Yeah, I mean, you use hydrogen peroxide on cuts and bruises. Just, I'd recommend being careful, safety, I would use goggles and things like that to protect your eyes. But honestly, it's so much fun. It's safe to touch. I wouldn't use too much dye or it would probably get on your hands. But honestly, it's pretty cool. And the way this works is that the hydrogen peroxide locks into the yeast and the yeast splits the oxygen and water, H. To O2 is what hydrogen peroxide is made out of. It splits it into oxygen and water without becoming chemically changed itself. Then the oxygen, oxygen produced in the reaction combines with the dishwashing liquid, the soap, to produce this large amount of foam, and the rest of the water is left in the bottle with the dissolved yeast. So, if you're wondering where I got this information about how it worked, it just came from the book that I used. We bought this probably about three years ago from one of our book fairs at school. As you can see, it's so much fun to play with. It, it just, it's, it's fun to play with. It's fun to do. So it's pretty much just a reaction between the yeast and the hydrogen peroxide. So we had so much fun, we decided to do it again. And I actually liked the second time we did it around, we added a bit more hydrogen peroxide and a bit more yeast, which created what I'd say like a bigger amount. It, it actually continued to keep flowing out of the bottle for like 10 minutes. It was really, really fun. So I hope you guys have as much fun as I did with this experiment. Experiment. This was so much fun if you're bored, if you're babysitting, if you just have like this craving to do a science experiment, try out Elephant's Toothpaste. It's called Elephant's Toothpaste. So I hope you guys all have a very happy holidays. Merry Christmas. It's late, but happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa. I think that's what you say. But have a very happy and Merry Christmas season.